My music production workflow just got a big upgrade. This is a NAS, or Network Attached Storage. As a music producer and content creator, it gives me three main benefits that have had a huge impact on my workflow. In this video, I'll help you decide if you should get one too. QNAP and Seagate teamed up to sponsor this video to help you better understand how a NAS might fit into your music production workflow. They sent me this TS410E NAS and four solid state drives. The TS410E is particularly well suited for audio studios because it's ultra quiet. So I can place it right here on my studio desk without the need to worry about noisy fans or spinning drives. I'll leave a link below in case you wanna check it out for yourself. The first benefit of having a NAS is that it keeps my files safe. Personally, I never really gave much thought to backing up my files when I was first getting started in audio. I put all of my projects from high school and my college years onto a single hard drive and stowed that hard drive away on a shelf. I always thought, hmm, I should really back these up to another drive, but I didn't have time at the moment, so I said I'll do it later. And I got pretty far with that plan, keeping everything on a single hard drive and hoping for the best. But then one day I connected that drive to my computer to listen to some old projects and the computer didn't recognize the drive. I tried another computer, same thing, nothing. All of that work, all of those memories, completely gone. Right now, it may seem like you don't need to worry about backing things up, but I promise you five to 10 years from now, you'll want to go back and listen to your earliest work. And if you let those files pile up, Backing them up only becomes a bigger and more daunting task as time goes on, and your hard drive could fail at any moment. So it's really important that you start backing your files up as soon as possible. The 3 2 one rule is a good starting point for a backup strategy. The 3 2 one rule states that you should always have three copies of your data. Those copies should be stored on two different media, and one of the copies should be stored off-site. There are some newer protocols that you may want to consider, but this is a really good starting point. Having three copies means you won't be relying on a single hard drive. And having one of those backups off-site means that the data will be safe even if the two on-site copies are destroyed by a fire, a flood, or some other unexpected disaster. Here's how I back up my files using the QNAP TS410E NAS. I have a folder on my computer that synchronizes to a folder on the NAS. These files are only stored on the NAS by default to save space on my computer's hard drive. So although I can access the files in an instant from my computer, this still only counts as one copy. The second copy is handled by this USB drive that's connected directly to the NAS. It automatically saves a backup each day. This also satisfies the two in the 321 strategy because it's saved to a separate medium, the SSD in the NAS and the hard drive. For the one in the 321 strategy, the offsite backup, you could use a second NAS that's at a different location, or you could use a cloud service. I'm currently using Google Drive, which will automatically save a backup of the NAS data each day. So if the NAS fails, I've got my USB hard drive. And if both of them fail, I've got my cloud backup. Another data safety feature that's built into the TS410E is RAID. As I mentioned before, this NAS is loaded with four two terabyte solid state drives. I've currently got them set up in a RAID 5 configuration. That means that the data is saved to the four drives in a way that if any single drive fails, I could simply pull it out and replace it with another two terabyte drive without losing any data. The other three drives will restore the data to the replacement drive seamlessly. This configuration means that I only have six terabytes of usable space instead of the full eight terabytes, but the redundancy that's gained with RAID is well worth it in my opinion. And if I ever need to upgrade the capacity, I can simply replace the two terabyte drives with larger drives. In addition to keeping my project data safe, the NAS also makes my projects much more easily accessible. The NAS is attached to my network, which means that I can access the data from anywhere in my house with any device that's connected to my network. I use this feature constantly because I'll often work on a project with my PC in my studio then I'll switch to my laptop to work from a different room. Both devices have a folder that automatically synchronizes to the NAS, and this provides me with the experience of working out of a single folder from multiple devices seamlessly. If a guest comes over to work on a project, they can access the NAS files too, as long as they have the username and password. No extra software is needed. Not only is the data on the NAS accessible to any device on the network, it's also available to any device with an internet connection. Before I got this NAS, Traveling really used to stress me out 
because I would think what would happen if I needed to make a quick change to a project or needed to send a file to someone while I'm gone. I would try to think of all the files I might possibly need to access and I'd load them onto my one terabyte SSD, but I could only take so much with me. And if I forgot to transfer a file to my portable drive, I just simply wouldn't be able to access that file until I got home. The NAS removes this worry altogether so long as I'll be somewhere with an internet connection. I can simply log into the NAS through a web browser from anywhere in the world and get access to the files I need. This makes it so easy to work on projects at a friend's house or another location without stressing about having the right files with me or not. My workflow has gotten a lot faster since I've set up the NAS too. No more sitting and waiting for files to transfer between two drives, it all happens automatically. The time it used to take me to back up my files often led me to procrastinate and wait longer and longer between backups. I just simply didn't have the time to sit and wait while the files transferred. That, of course, made it much more likely that I would lose data because I was only covered on the files that hadn't been edited since the last backup. If something would have happened to my computer hard drive, I could have easily lost days or weeks of work. But now everything happens automatically and I don't even need to think about it. Sharing files is also much easier with the included QNAP software than it was before. I used to share my files with Google Drive, but the way Google Drive zips the files and sometimes messes with the file structure used to add a lot of frustration and extra time to that process. Now everything syncs automatically, so I don't even need to worry about updating the cloud or anything like that. I just send the link to a collaborator and they can access the folder on the NAS directly. Below this video, I'll leave you links to the NAS and drives that I'm using. I'll see you in the next video that's on your screen now.